Hi everybody, welcome back to Stranded Deep. Oh man, I'm finally getting somewhere. Look at this. The base is taking shape. We've got like a dock that we can pull up our Mr. Motorboat onto so that he can uh, rest and relax and not float away in the middle of the night. And uh, we've got this like house attached to it that we're currently building. And uh, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to continue building it. We're going to get like a... I think we're going to need a new axe actually. Um, but we're gonna go get some more wood and stuff. We'll probably make a new axe. I'm gonna have to find, like, some rocks. Man, this island's got everything. Like, we really lucked out with this huge island. It's fantastic. It's got just about everything that we could ever need. Uh, we've got plenty of water. Uh, we don't really have any food. We could do with cooking up some food. And I guess we'll go out and collect, like, some rocks and stuff. Because I'm gonna need some for tools. Uh, so we'll do that now. It looks like it's getting... Kind of dark. It's not really though. It's still like the middle. Of, well, it's like the end of the afternoon, but it gets dark at like six o'clock. So we got to be kind of careful. All right. So I'll do that. We're going to. Uh, do we need lashings? Yeah, we do actually. So I'm gonna pick up some of this stuff. What I'm gonna do is instead of carry carrying all these stupid fibrous leaves back, I'm just gonna straight up turn them into lashings, um, like right away. Because I think th is there another yucca there? And I have to take some of these with me. I think. Yeah, I'll take these, like, two, uh, and then I'll do the same thing next time over here. Oh, is a fruit tree? Oh, it's been pilfered. Man, I can't believe it. I've already pilfered that fruit tree. It's going to happen, though. Uh, what's that little tree? What's this? Is this another, like, mini fruit tree that's, like, coming up? It's going to become, like, the next fruit tree on the block? I like that. Uh, lashing, yes. Uh, we can make two of these this time, and we'll pick them up. Um, perfect. We're, we're, we need these for a bed, right? This is like the next thing on the list of things that we want to make. Uh, including a new axe and also, oh, just like some hidden corrugated scrap down here that I never noticed before. All right. We want to also be knocking down as many ficus trees as we can too, because they provide some wood that we need to build, uh, stuff for the house. Oh, man. And the, uh, half walls for the docks and stuff. I mean, there's still this whole, this whole area over here. There's plenty of firewood on this island. Uh, we haven't seen any stones yet, though. Which is surprising, right? Like, we should see a whole bunch of stones just, like, littered on the beach. But, <gasps> hey, there's a fucking wreck over here. There's, there's a wreck. There's been a wreck over here the whole time. I didn't even realize. I'm too busy picking up sticks and rocks and stuff to even notice that there's a fully fledged wreck over here that we haven't even investigated yet. All right, we will totally investigate that probably tomorrow. Um, I mean, we could cook up some potatoes. Really do with cooking up some crabs or potatoes because we are getting a little bit hungry. Got some rocks, which is good. Found plenty of rocks, so we'll go dump that with the rest of the stuff. There's some tarps and stuff over here too. Man. This island is the island that just keeps on giving, except for its fruit regeneration rate is not incredible. It's got to be said. I mean, other islands have had better fruit regeneration rates than this one. But you know what? We can't complain too much. We got some water cooking up right now. Uh, we've got a whole mountain of junk up here, which is really fantastic. Uh, we're going to need some firewood probably because the fire has gone out again. But look at that. It's really, really good. All right. We'll chuck, like, most of our junk here. Or do we even really want to? I guess we want to start chucking our junk down here, right? Like, I don't know. There's more junk up here. Oh, there's, there's another perfectly good palm tree here, too. All right. We are going to chuck our junk here. Because we don't need it in our inventory to actually use it. <laughs> Corrugated scrap everywhere. There's just, like, these big pieces of scrap everywhere. It's nuts. Is this just, like, good wood? I think it is. Yeah, it's wood sticks. Okay, we don't want to use that for firewood. Uh, we're going to need to make a new axe. The rest of this stuff we can keep. And, oh, crap. We're going to need... We might actually need to use this for firewood, you know? Because we're going to need to make a better axe um, to chop up the driftwood. That's fine. Just for once. It should be fine. Oh, my God. It's got very dark very quickly. Okay. Uh, what next? Oh, yeah. We want to take this bucket... And we probably want to drink what's in the bucket completely. Mm. How many sips do you get? Five? Four? Five? Yeah, it's five. Oh, look at that. We're full up, though. That's fantastic. Okay. Uh, let's put this bucket back on here. 
Let's grab this bucket. Let's turn on our flashlight because it's getting dark as a, as a mother F out here. We'll go fill this up. God, you got so many chores to do when you're stranded on an island. I'm surprised. It's crazy. Like, I thought it was just going to be like, hey, yeah, I'm just going to build all my stuff up and whatever. I'm done. But no, that's not the case at all. Like, we got so many, like, little chores that we have to do throughout the day and stuff. Um, I mean, I say that. It took me, like, one second to do those things. But still, I'm, like, kind of annoyed. All right. Did we build up the fire? Yes, we did. Okay. We'll turn this on. Perfect. Get some more water on the go. And we're going to need a new axe because this one is about to expire. So let's do that. Uh, we want an axe. We've got everything we need except for stone tools. We need two stone tools, uh, which we can make. We'll just put it like down here, I guess. <laughs> we need one more. Man, make these stone tools. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, perfect. And we'll get an axe. And then we should be in good shape for... Yeah, okay. We want to pick this one up, though. Okay. So we now have a, a, a good axe that we're... Hang on a second. What the fuck is it? Oh, I see. It's two. We've got... They stack. Oh, that's fucking really good. Perfect. Okay. And we've got a crude hammer and a whole bunch of tarps and all this corrugated scrap and stuff. Perfect. All right. So uh, we probably want to sleep as well. And save, which I'll do. We'll advance the time a little bit and uh, see if the fire is still going. I mean, we just lit the fire. It should still be going. Okay, it is. It's still going and it hasn't made anything. That's crazy. Okay, let's save as well. Perfect. And what time is it? Ah, it's like four in the morning. And we're like really, really hungry. All right, let's go hunt for some crabs. We're going to have to go hunt for crabs. And I think um, we're going to have to take the bucket off and use the spit to actually cook the crab up. Or we could just eat coconuts. Ah, fuck it. Let's go eat some coconuts. <laughs> we might as well. We don't need to be cooking up crabs. What we really need is barrel scraps. We might be able to get some barrel scraps from that wreck with any luck, right? Okay. I will go consult my coconut supply inside this container, uh, and I will chop up a bunch of these nuts and eat them as well. Man, supplies are going to be dwindling, but I think it's worth it. It's probably fine. Four? I think four will do. I don't know why I picked them up. <laughs> I picked them up so that I could just... Oh, what's that? My knife. I did not want to drop that. Okay. I picked them up just so I could bring them out here <laughs> and chop them up. Oh, shit. They're rolling everywhere. Come on, coconuts. Work with me here. Jeez. All right. Let's do this. Okay. Is it drinkable? Because we want to pick them up when they're drinkable and drink the contents. Waste not, want not, right? We're going to drink the contents and then we're going to smash them up. Because that's the way to do it. Okay, that one's drinkable. Oh my god. I You have to actually do it this way as well. It's crazy, isn't it? Okay, that's drinkable. <laughs> Jeez. Man, it's really creepy around the container at night, isn't it? You feel like you're like breaking into an industrial sort of yard or something, but we haven't. I mean, this is just fully ours, except like one wall has come off hilariously. Jesus Christ. Okay. I did not mean to do that. Okay. We're drinking that one. We'll, we'll toss it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and no, <laughs> there's no juice in that one. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, so it turns out we have more than four coconuts, but that's okay. Uh, uh, actually, how much? Okay, so we need one, two, three, four. That's not too bad. Okay. Perfect. One, two, and then three, four. So what we'll do is we'll just carry these. They don't spoil, right? So we'll carry them around with us, and then we should be in good shape. Okay, let's eat these fresh coconuts. Mmm. How much else? How, oh, it gives us back like half of one, doesn't it? So we could do with actually smashing two more open just to get full up. And we might as well get full up, right? Oh, shit. Look, the sun rises on another day out here stranded really deep, but not so stranded now because we've got a motorboat and the beginnings of a cool house, which we're going to work on some more like in a minute too. Oh, nice. Okay. I will eat the rest of these coconuts for my breakfast. There's plenty more coconuts where they came from. That's right. We got all of these trees still intact here that we can use for coconuts. And of course, 
our beach mansion is coming along really well too. Look, I think in terms of vitals, we're like full. That's crazy. We're doing so good. All right, uh, let's, oh my God, the fucking tarp. Okay, let's start moving some of this crap, shall we? To like, um, Jesus, <laughs> down to the beach. We might as well, right? Oh, <laughs> scrap. I can't see shit. Why does it do this? I mean, fuck me. Oh, is it because I don't have any? Oh, that's better. Okay, we're going to move all of this scrap down. We got some plank scraps. We got some steel scraps. Perfect. I don't want to miss anything. I'm going to start moving all this junk down to, like, the beach. We're going to drag this tree down here, too. And we're probably going to cut down that one, too. I think we have some palm leaves down on the beach already, which is pretty good. Um, we have a whole bunch of lashings that we can get, too. So we can actually make a bed, uh, which will be better than just sleeping in that crappy little shelter, I think. Now look at the shadow. It's like <laughs> like some sort of like angel on the beach. Those are my wings. Ah! Well, maybe not quite. Anyway, we'll just drop this off here. We need like a, a wood pile, right? I think, anyway. Uh, what do we want to make now? We want to make some more walls. And if it, this looks junky and sort of haphazard, that's fine too. We'll just use whatever resources we have. Like we'll make a plank wall, some plank scraps because we got them, right? Like we'll make a plank wall on this side too. We'll make this like the strong wall because it's like sea facing. Ah, that looks cool. I want this to look like a real mess because I think it's more realistic like that. It's not always going to look like... Um, you know, like one building material. Like we can make a corrugated arch, which I think would be nice. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot, actually. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. Okay, perfect. And we could probably make like a corrugated wall too, with any luck. Or we can make a tarp tarp. Do we want to make a tarp tarp? We can make a corrugated half wall. Okay, man, you don't actually need that many scraps to make these cool walls. Might be able to make like almost the whole base out of this one building material, which would be really nice. All right, let's go for it. Uh, we want a wall uh, made of corrugated scraps again, like here, I think. And you know what? We're going to have a window this side too, because why the hell not, right? We want to make this as bright and airy as possible. We're going to make a corrugated window. Awesome. Okay, and that leaves... Two more walls at the back here that we need to make, uh, which uh, I'm not sure what we have in terms of materials left. We might need some more wood. We can make a tarp wall. Uh, we have enough for a crooked half wall and a steel half wall. Okay, let's make a tarp tarp wall because why not? We now have a tarp tarp wall, which is realistic too. You know, uh, there's every possibility that we would use tarps to make walls if we had them. We don't really need any more tarps right now. And there's at least one tarp laying around on the island out there anyway. Um, so we need some stuff for a door. That's fine. We'll chop this one up as well. Oh, man. It's nice actually using up all of these resources, right? Like, we've got all these extra resources. We might as well be using them. Like, this was just laying in a big heap uh, up on that trash mountain that I'd made. So it's nice to bring this down here and spend 10 years chopping it up only for it to like not fuck me god that took a long time all right let's get to work on the log which will probably take another 20 years but it'll be worth it in the end we'll just chop it all up into sticks which is uh well there's enough sticks there for like another wall there's a big pile of driftwood here all right, um, do we want to chop down this palm tree as well? It does actually have a coconut in it. You know what? I think we should try to avoid chopping down the palm trees, as we said before. We don't want to get lazy. Um, and we want to make sure that we got a steady supply of coconuts coming in at all times. Let's pick up, like, all this crap. Like, there's lashings and duct tape, and oh, we're full up already. I can't believe it. There's, like, a million rocks here. There's a whole bunch of buckets and fibrous leaves. Like... Just a whole bunch of tools here that we need to just start piling up inside the shack, which we're going to do now. Okay. I'm going to run down here, and I'm literally just going to chuck it all on the ground inside the shack. Or am I? You know what? Maybe we can store some tools, like, out here or something. That might be better. Like, there's these steel scraps. We don't need to carry those around with us. Certainly don't need a jerry can either. There's a bunch of corrugated metal here that I'm just going to send flying as well. 
These lashings and cloth. We don't need any of this crap. The rest of this crap I don't even think we really need either. We just like take stuff as we need it. So the important stuff we'll leave inside. Like the antibiotics. One coconut. We got this air tube. And we got a bit of morphine just in case. Some binoculars. Okay, we'll leave that there too. The compass that I don't even know how to use anyway. <laughs> Whatever this is. It's a fucking coconut. Drinkable coconut. Okay, wonderful. All right. My inventory is freed up now so I can go and I can pilfer the rest of this island for all of its natural splendor. Uh, of course, by that I mean I'm going to chop down as many ficus trees as I can. And I might also climb up a couple of palm trees to get their coconuts as well. Man, who would have thought that coconuts would be such a lifesaver? Like, they've turned out to be an enormous lifesaver, which has been really good. I mean, we've... We've gotten through many scrapes in the past thanks to these coconuts, and I can't thank them enough. So coconuts, if you're listening out there, you've done good. You've done real good. Don't know if we need this many rocks, uh, but we'll just pick them up anyway. We're going to pick up pretty much everything. Fuck, I don't even think we need to chop down trees at this rate. Look at these, look at all these fucking sticks that have just washed up on shore. Maybe this is like my old base. It's just been swept by a tsunami and these are like all the bits and pieces that have come washing up on to this big ass shore. I, I don't mind that so much. In fact, it's pretty good because, oh crap, here's another downed palm tree. That one was definitely me. <laughs> I remember very well uh, chopping it down and then realizing that I probably didn't need to be chopping all of these palm trees down. Am I gonna drag this thing back? Hell yeah, I am. Is it still in one piece? Hell yeah, it is. All right, here we go. Angel of the Island is back in full effect, um, dragging a massive palm tree behind him, as evidenced by our shadow. Look, we can always look at our shadow to see if the palm tree is following us, and it appears to be. Excellent. So another thing to chop up. Actually, this palm tree would probably be enough for the roof. Uh, and then we can make the bed as well, oh, which would be great. Fucking having a bed would be nice, actually. And then we just need to have a fire pit. I mean, can we have a fire pit on this wet sand? Are there tides in this game yet? Can we get away with that? I don't think we can make a fire pit on, <clears throat> like, our foundations or anything. That might be a thing that we'd have to... Oh, shit. I don't want to carry all this wood around with me. It's definitely something I don't want to do. Okay. I'm going to chuck all this wood here. And I'm going to chuck all these stones down here, too. Man, I've got so much stuff. God, this is great. Fuck, I love having stuff. It's so good. How are my vitals? Perfect. Man, I have got this game nailed. I, I have got it completely locked down at this point. Nothing can stop me except for maybe a shark. But are we going to be in a situation where a shark ever gets a chance to attack us? I doubt it. Like, we could go out there, but we got a motorboat. We could just grind him up into hamburger. Um, build, like, a little contraption to capture all of that delicious shark meat. Um, and then we're good. We're golden. Yeah, you know, we just have, like, all that blubber and shark meat to eat for the rest of our lives. Because we have a uh, lighter with infinite amount of fuel. And, and I think we're good. All right. Important stuff goes inside, right? So we're going to put the gun in here. <laughs> standing up. Got some duct tape. I'm sure we had more duct tape than that, but buckets, one for pee, one for poo, and one for barfing. Perfect. Uh, we've got these like extra carburetors that we don't really need right now. You never know though. We might need them again at some point. And we'll chuck all this stuff down here. Perfect. All right. So, uh, can we make a roof? I think we can make a roof. We gotta do that with floors. Oh, we need a door too. Uh, do we want a wood door? <clears throat> can we have any other kind of wood of door? Oh, we can make a container door. But we actually have to get a container door. What the fuck? Container door. A pair of doors salvaged from a shipping container. Shipping container doors do not require an arch to place and occupy one wall position. How the shit? Wait a second. Does that mean that I can actually take bits and pieces off of here? Like, can I axe these down? Because that would imply that I could, right? Let's try. 
Okay. Uh. No. <laughs> Turns out no. I mean, maybe I can use the hammer? Okay, that didn't work either. It just opens them. <laughs> How the shit? How do I do it? There's gotta be a way. Maybe if I just like hold the mouse button, I can tear them off? No. I can't tear them off either. But there's this bit here. <laughs> that's not the doors though. What the fuck? Oh, that's crazy. Okay, maybe I'll never be able to do it. Okay, so palm leaves, lashing, sticks, and wood sticks for a bed. Uh, and we need to do the floors too. And I cannot get these doors off. The only thing you can do is open and close them. Maybe if I just like keep clicking them like a, like a maniac. Can I knife them? <laughs> no. I don't know of any other tools or of a way to get these doors. Maybe I just have to find the doors like themselves just on the ground and not rip them off of a container. Because I'd quite happily rip them off that container at this point because honestly, the wall came off. That container is just dead to me anyway. It's like totally useless. All right. So we want uh, floor. Oh, yeah. We want a door, didn't we? Let's make a door. We're going to make a door out of wood, I guess, because that's all we have right now. So a wooden door inside this. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, man, it swings open like crazy, too. So forever under attack by a shark that manages to make it onto the dock. Wham. We just open it up. Poof. Knock him. Knock him dead. It'd be sweet. All right. Floors now. Uh, I guess we're going to go for wood stick because I don't have anything else right now. So that's fine. We're going to start on a ceiling. We've done this many times now, it feels like. But this is going to be our final base. We don't need any more bases after this one. This is going to be the base to end all bases. we got a view of the beach and the island from here. We've got a view of the sea from here. And, of course, our motorboat as well. Just in case like somebody gets some funny ideas or whatever. Tries to steal our motorboat in the middle of the night. We'll catch them red-handed. It'll be great. Uh, I'm going to chop this up for some more sticks, and then we can actually finish the house, and then we'll make a bed as well. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. We've come so far in this game, and we've so far survived for, like, what? Ten days. I can't believe it. That's really good. I mean, we could just keep going like this forever, too, right? With a steady supply of coconuts. There's plenty of crabs and potato plants on this island as well. There's all sorts of resources. We have the motorboat, so we can get around really quickly. I guess we want to, like, go deep-sea diving at some point and find some bigger wrecks or whatever now that we have, like, our oxygen tank. But I don't know what else is realistically going to be down there. Like, maybe we'd find some dead bodies, but I'm not sure that we could lug them all the way back here and prop them up on a chair and befriend them or anything like that. So what's the point? Um, and in terms of actual items and stuff left in the game, I'm not sure that there's anything else worth finding. I think really the motorboat is like the end game, much like, I guess, in Subnautica, making a Cyclops. It was kind of end game, but, you know, it like any of these sort, sort of early access games, you play them up until the point where um, you've sort of seen and done everything, or at least you think you have, and then you just wait. You wait for, like, an update or two to come out that adds more stuff or some new, like, challenges to the game or whatever, and then you come back to it. But... I'm cool with that. I don't mind. I like. I kind of like having a game that you can just come back to. Like, well, Rust, for example, is a perfect example of that. It's an early access game. It's been on early access for like three years now. Um, when I last played Rust, I enjoyed it. And it was when there were still like zombies and like rad towns and stuff in the game. Uh, and now to play it, uh, like, you know, a year or two after that, the game completely changed. It's totally different, but it's really awesome, and I really enjoyed it. So <clears throat> who's to say that that might not happen with this game or indeed like Subnautica or any other game like that? You never know. Um, so we're going to have to see. All right. So here we go. We're going to uh, make some more wood stick floors so that we can finish off this roof. And then I think we've got enough left for a bed as well, which would be really nice. And then we can sleep in that bed and have a nice time rolling around in that bed. I'm not thrilled about the tarp walls. <laughs> I'll be honest. But, I mean, they're okay, I guess. Okay, bed. Uh, we are missing four lashings. What the hell? How are we missing four fucking lashings? There's no way we're missing four lashings. 
Okay, it turns out that actually we are missing four lashings. Okay, we want like a big wood pile here of wood. Um, well, I don't think we really need sticks for anything else now other than maybe firewood. So we could look to get one of these big ass things set up on the beach right next to the shack. There is, of course, the danger of the shack catching fire, which is not the best. What the fuck? Did we not get any water from that whatsoever? How is that even possible? How is that possible? What's it? What the? What's going on? I can't even pick up the bucket or anything. Oh, there it is. All right. Well, fine. I guess we're just going to have to, like, do that again. Oh, shit. There's a yucca plant right there. Okay. Let's get this back, like, online so that we can actually get some water and not die. That would be useful. And then we're going to... Um, fuck. It's, like... I think it's almost nighttime, actually. Is it almost nighttime? No, not quite. It's getting there, though. Uh, we're going to chop this up and get these lashings that we need for the bed and hopefully with any luck we can actually sleep in our own goddamn bed tonight that would be nice okay we'll pick up all of these fibrous leaves as many of them as we can see anyway sometimes i miss them because they fall like into the grass or whatever and you can't always see them it's like just one of those things it's like one of those little pet peeves it's a little pet peeve here we go another yucca meets a tragic fate <laughs> the hands of the man with raggedy ass pants was in a plane crash <laughs> and now he's stranded and no yucca plant is safe and not just yucca plants but ficus trees as well that's right the ficus and yucca annihilator is on the loose ladies and gentlemen and he will not stop until every one of those plants has been decimated god that's so fucking dramatic holy crap all right i think that might be enough for this god that's a fucking lot of fibrous leaves holy shit all right let's see if we can make these lashings now i'm pretty sure that we have enough of those for the lashings and oh fuck i didn't bring any sticks with me jesus it's becoming quite apparent that we need to have the fire pit like closer to the shack because turns out that the shack whilst it's like in a pretty convenient location it's still far away from like that fire bit it's like kind of annoying one two three and four. Oh god okay fine well we're gonna run all the way back up here but uh we'll definitely make one of these big ass still things like close to closer to the base i mean this is good though because if the shack ever does burn down we still have this shelter up here right which is nice okay let's put this on here it is definitely filled with water perfect and we'll do this and that and the other and let's light this bad boy up okay perfect that should be good all right now we can get back to making a bed of course fuck i think we've used up like a lot of sticks though so i mean we might need to use the steel scraps oh no there's still plenty of sticks here what am i talking about all right first things first we're gonna need to make four lashings uh one two three god and four man it'd be nice if you could just like put in a number and say make this many things instead of like doing it manually but there you go and we have a bed oh yeah this could be nice oh look at it it's pretty big too all right where do we want to place our bed i think we want to place it like here next to all of our junk next to the tarp wall oh shit oh that's nice oh man look at this this is great Oh, we've fucking done it. I can't believe we've done it. We've managed to survive and do a whole bunch of awesome shit. We made a motorboat that basically we don't even really need to use now unless we go out and do some deep sea diving or whatever. Um, but we have a bed. We have plenty of water. We've got pretty much plenty of food. It gets dark at like 6 o'clock at night, but I guess it is January. Some people did make the point that it's January. So there we go. Man. Anyway, we've got this cool-ass shack. We've got, like, the dock. The sun is setting. And I think we are done with Stranded Deep for now. Um, because I think we've pretty much done everything. And that was really good. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed it a lot, actually. I'm really looking forward to new stuff coming out for this game. 
uh, and, and trying it out and, you know, maybe having some tussles with sharks if I can man up a bit, but I doubt I ever will. Um, so there you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks very much for watching Stranded Deep. Um, I enjoyed it a lot, and I will definitely come back to it after some more updates have come out for the game, and there's maybe a bit more to do or some more stuff to see or whatever they have planned for the game. Uh, but so far, so good. Excellent. Uh, well, stay tuned for something new. Um, now that I have uh, some more time, I will start playing something else, get into it, and post videos about it. So I'm not sure what it'll be. Um, I could always play some more of that um, turmoil, but uh, if not, it'll be something else, uh, and we'll see how it goes. Excellent. Well, as usual, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.